man be back with another video and today we've got an exciting one so normally i do not enjoy making pokemon showdown content however this is different because um i do think that pokemon showdown is really good for team building i think it is a great site for team building um but we'll talk about that more as we go but yeah this is a video that i'm gonna do where I go through my team building process when making a new team. Of course, this is only going to be an hour long video, so maybe it's not the perfect version, but it is a version. Um, and the main reason I want to do this is because I want to talk to you guys about um, my perks. So I have, um, basically, I'm, I, I do YouTube, right? I don't do Twitch. Um, but yeah, um, the main thing is you can be a subscriber or it's called a member on YouTube, just like you can be for Twitch. However, you get more perks. So I have built my perks to be Pokemon centric. And yeah, so basically the first tier you get, um, which is like the equivalent of a Twitch subscription is um, you get access to all my member videos. Not only that, but you get access to my um, emotes and uh, you get a cool badge as well. Um, so yeah, basic. the first one's basic. The second one is I get to use your team, whatever team you want, and this is per month, so if you're a subscriber 12 months, I'll be using 12 of your teams, I guess. Um, yeah, and I'll be making a member-only video with your team, essentially, that uh, basically only the members get to see. And the third and final perk is a two-hour video on my channel, where you and me, we can build a team together, or however you want. We can just play for two hours, um, that's up to you, essentially. But yeah, so I wanted to show you guys, or tell you guys that. Um, if you guys are interested in more, of course, you can look in the description. It's in every single video um, you can just see. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, of course, I reply to all the comments. But let's go ahead and talk, or sorry, go ahead and do this. Um, so this is going to be Series 12, obviously. So what we're going to do is first Team Builder, right? So we'll name this um, Manby Video. All right. Now, of course, you got to click your series. And here we go. So. The way I would start, um, and of course I, this is my first ever dual restricted format, I will start, um, um, I still think what's optimal is to start with your restricteds, right? So I'm feeling like Dialga today, so I want to go with Dialga. So now um, I have to think, and usually it's, it's pretty easy to think of pairs that kind of work together, at least if not, you can test them. Um, Dialga is kind of interesting, so it's a special attacker that wants to Dynamax. So you want to you want to pair it with a physical attacker. I always thought Zacian could be really really nice, um, <laughs> but I don't know. I, I feel like um, it could also pair well with, but that's like double steel, you know. I, I feel like it could also pair well with um, something else, like a Groudon could be really nice too. Um, but I'm not sure. I feel like they're both the kind of the same speed tier, and it wouldn't be as great. But yeah, let's see. Um, Rayquaza is kind of cool because that does really well against Sun, but I feel like Dialga does pretty well against Sun in general, especially if I give it the right moves. Um, yeah, I don't feel I don't know about Zarin. Yveltal is kind of cool, however, I don't know. Dialga I feel like does pretty well against things that Yveltal does well against um, for the most part. Um, Zamazenta is a Pokemon. I don't know. Zamazenta also shares the same weaknesses, so if I'm not going to do Zygarde, then I don't think I would do that. I mean, not that hard. Um, I still like Zacian, but let's see. There might be something more interesting. Um, I don't really want Lunala. I don't want Kyogre because it's two big special attackers. Um, ho oh is not the worst thing in the world, but I feel like I, Dialga already does super well against um, Zacian, in my opinion. Galyrex Ice isn't terrible. Honestly, it's really not terrible. But that's like double trick room. Honestly, let's try it. So let's go Calyrex Ice and Dialga. Seems like a seems like a combination. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna uh, I can, I, I've already got a Pokemon in my brain, and I'm just gonna throw it in there, and that's gonna that's gonna be Grimstarl. So um, I guess I'm thinking about typings in general. I've already got the the Fantasy Core, and that is Steel, Dragon, and Fairy. Um, uh, the reason I picked Grimstarl right off the rip is because Grimstarl goes so unbelievably well um, with Dialga. So I think Dialga and Grimstarl will kind of be my fastest mode, and where more so Calyrex is gonna be my slow mode, and so. Um, yeah, the good thing about restricted Pokemon is they have good pairings, right? So Dialga has a great pairing in Grimmsnarl. Just in general, that's just what works. And Calyrex, guess what, has a Pokemon named Mimikyu that works really, really well together. Um, so that's already like four Pokemon down, and at that point now I just kind of need Pokemon that support it. So and this is kind of my basic um, guide for building 
um, in restricted format so far. You, you, you pick your restricteds that you think work well together, and then you pick their pairs that work together, and then it's all about rounding out the team. So yeah, um, I've made two teams so far doing this um, in, in Series 12, and I've, uh, both of them I've had pretty good records um, Yeah, on videos so far. One of them I went 3-0, and and then I won a best of three going undefeated. And then the other team I went 6-2, and two, both of which I got 5th place on a ladder tournament um, without the maximum amount of games, which I find impressive. But yeah, this is looking good. Um, I like these two a lot, so now I gotta think... Um, honestly, <laughs> I have two Pokemon in my head that I think work really, really well. Um, and I think that's going to be Calyrex... Sorry, it's not Calyrex. Incin. And yeah, not only that, but I feel like the biggest problem now would be... Um, Kyogre, so I'm gonna go with Reggie Lucky. So it's very similar to one of my other teams, mainly because I have Calyrex. Um, so Calyrex, Mimikyu, Incin, Reggie Lucky, it's just a combination that works. Um, but yeah, now we have this Dialga Grimstorm mode instead of the Kyogre Torn uh, mode that my other team have. Um, but yeah, I can kind of make the team how I like it. So I actually think Reggie Lucky is the best Life Orb user in the game. Um, truthfully, but that means I would have to use a different item on Dialga, however, I think that's possible. I just don't know what I would do, because I really like Life Orb on Dialga. You can run Adamant Orb, the only thing is, Dialga's really good with its coverage moves, and yeah, this is where we're going to start calcing, because I need to kill, um, I need to kill Zacian, so where's my Pokemon damage calcium later? You guys can see this, so that's good. I hope you've been able to see this, I haven't been looking at the screen, yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, um... Let's go to Dialga. So this is this calculator was made for. It's a different one because VGC. The other one's not really VGC centric. I think this one is still for. Oh, VGC 22. Yeah, this is for 22. Okay, so it's not that big a deal. We'll go to Dialga, blank set, and then um, we'll go to Zation. So when I'm calculating against Zation, I just assume they're gonna have 252 because um, I want to kill it. And then we'll go to Dialga. We're gonna go with Earth Power and Dynamax. Um, yeah, obviously we're gonna go with the modest nature. That's naive. Modest. See, this this still looks like a lot. I don't think with 252 we kill this thing. That's insane. Why is Zacian so broken? Um, so there's that. So we absolutely need a boosting item. So let's look at the life orb. Uh, life orb 106. Okay, so with life orb, it's a pretty easy kill. We can even lower its attack a whole lot just to get there and then reinvest it in, in something else. So you guys can see here my Earth, my Dynamax Earth Power at 172 plus kills it. So if I wanted to keep the Life Orb, um, then I would get rid of this. However, that would mean using something else on Reggie Lucky. However, I think Magnet is also a really good item. So it's not like it's the end of the world. Um, the only problem is, um, yeah, I'm using Magnet, and it's not quite as good as Life Orb, but Magnet's still really good, and I, I think I'm, I think it's worth using it since Dialga is so strong. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go with Life Orb. So. Again, we did 172, um, which might not be an actual physical number. <laughs> it might be something else. 172, yeah. Oh, no, it is 172. Yeah, it's 190, right? Or 211, yeah, because I'm modest. Uh, modest, 211, cool. So you make it match up. And now I can reinvest um, some of those points instead of just doing straight up 252 um, in, into something else. So first of all, we want to do... Um, I like Roar of Time just because it's a really good Dynamax move. We'll go Flash Cannon as well, and then Roar, sorry, not Roar of Time, Earth Power. So those are three moves. Now I could do a fourth move. Um, I don't think we need something like an Ice Beam because we do have Calyrex. However, yeah, I don't know, it could be really good. Um, we could do something for the Sun Teams, but again, Calyrex covers that so well. Um, yeah, I could do something like Electric, I could do something like um, Rock. I can I can definitely think it, or I could do protect, or I could do fire. Well, well, we can definitely think about that last spot. A lot of Dialgas do like running four attack and not having protect, and I think that's fine. Um, yeah, so that's good. Next, you can do calcs to see um, how much damage your Dialga is gonna take. So if I look at like this default set, I don't think it. Yeah, this is two by two jolly, so I like this. If I look at CC, if I could make that a two hit KO, that'd be pretty crazy. So if I go two five two, it's not a two hit KO. So I'd have to probably do more HP. However, do I have enough bulk to do 252? I have 84 if I don't do any speed. But I don't think I need a whole lot of speed. I only think I need like 2... I, only, I think I only need 12 speed. So if I would do 68 in defense, is that enough? 
68. So this is like a really, yeah, it's still a 97% chance to KO, so it's not necessarily worth it. Um, however, I can I can probably just do 252. Where's Sacred Sword? That's what I want to see. Sacred Sword. Because Sacred Sword is more important here. Um, yeah, so that's a, with 252 HP, it, it's already a 2-8 KO, so like, as far as Zacian goes, it's pretty pretty easy. I think if I, I think I just do 252. Like, I don't think I need to do anything special here. Um, the only thing is, do I put the other 72 points? Um, I think I'll go 113. Yeah, I think we'll go 113. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think that's good. Now I have 64 EVs to put in special defense or defense. It's defense is better. I think I'm just gonna get more value out of it. So what that means is um, this is 120, right? And this is 100. So the higher this is, the more beneficial it is, just because it's higher, right? Um, so like, okay, say I have 100 and 150. If I'm multiplying both of them by 1.5, the 150 obviously gets helped more because you have more to begin with, right? So that's kind of the same there. So yeah, we'll keep that. Next, we can decide on telepathy or pressure. Um, yeah, I don't think any of these Pokemon are gonna be self-hitting. Um, so you kind of want pressure in case, like for instance, I want to like parting shot myself or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think telepathy helps because none of my Pokemon hit each other. Um, yeah. So next we got Calyrex. The good thing is I can kind of cheat on Calyrex, Mimikyu, and Regilecki because they're all um, from a team I've already done. So I can already take my um, my one here. This is uh, my my. Uh, this is the one I've been using. This is the one that Bars made. This spread I think it's for Calyrex Shadow um, specifically, or it's just Spdef in general because it's already got really good defense. Um, yeah, and I put Seed Bomb on it because I like Seed Bomb. Um, this is my only Trick Room user. I think that's fine. Um, the speed is 70. That I could do 57 for, I think. Yeah, so Bar's spread actually had it um, 57, which is slower than Ensign, um, min speed Ensign, um, but faster than, you know, things that it needs to be. Um, yeah, which I think is fine. I think this is fine. I could change out Seed Bomb, but however, I think this team struggles a little bit with um, Kai Ogre, so I think Seed Bomb is Worf, so I think that's fine. The good thing is I can also steal the Mimikyu set, the Mimikyu set, um, which is also made by Bars. Um, in general, when you're using Pokemon, you can use similar spreads. Um, obviously, you want to cater the spreads more towards... Uh, you want to cater the spreads more towards... What am I thinking? Uh, you want to towards the series, the format, right? But Calyrex, this was made for a restricted format. Obviously, there's two restricteds now, um, so it's fine. The Dialga, I kind of just did it for Zacian, which is fine. Um, the Mimikyu, it was also for the Calyrex. It was specifically for the Calyrex. This is basically Mimikyu is meant to live crazy um, stuff, like certain calcs, like Banded, Urshifu, and all sorts of things. Um, so this is a set that I've already used and that I really like. Um, yeah, so that's nice. Um, yeah, and I'll probably use similar sets too. So I've used, uh, do I have this team on here? I don't know if, know if I do. Um, yeah, Bars is, uh, Reggie Lucky set. I don't think it's this. This is, this is my specs one. Yeah, so I'm just using old teams, uh, sets. So I can actually use, oh, I didn't even put this right on here. I know I have this Life Orb one. I think this spread's gonna be the same for our, uh, Magnet one. So we'll just have to do that. Um, basically, it, it's supposed to live like Reggie Lucky, Grassy Glides, plus a, basically a lot of physical attacks. Um, but we will go Magnet, of course, instead. But I think the spread's still fine. 237 speed. So if you don't know what 237 speed does, it outspeeds Scarf Kyogre. I know it's not quite as popular as it was in Series 10. However, it's still just a really nice speed tier. I don't really care about being faster than other Reggie Luckies as other fast teams. I just go Trick Room mode. Um, so that's nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. That seems good. Yeah, so I'm using standard sets, and that Ensign is a very common Pokemon. Grimmsnarl, I could definitely do it with Calx. Um, it really depends on what I want to do. Um, question is, do I want to do screens and stuff? So I could easily do Light Clay, and then I could do, first of all, you need Spirit Break. Don't ever make a non-Spirit Break set. You could do something like Sucker Punch, but with something like Ensign and... See, the Mimikyu is so good against Calyrex Shadow. It's funny. Um, Spirit Break, so I think I want Scary Face for sure. Do I want... 
Now, do I want light screen and reflect? Scary face, light screen, and reflect? I think that's fine. I'm not as good with light screen and reflect. But, yeah. I think that's fine. Let's try it. Let's try it. And if I don't like it, I can do something more gimmicky with, like, trick and, um... Yeah, I can do something with, like, trick and, uh... Fake tears. Yeah, I think that could be really good, too. But we'll do this for now. Um... Do I have a Grim Snarl set? Because I really don't want to try to find one. Grim Snarl. It looks like I have th three. Ah, my PC2 one. You know what? That one should be fine. Oh, I had one of my rain team. That's hilarious. That was like a, a billion years ago. Alright, we'll use this one. Um, I wish I could just import the set. Let's see. Um, it's, see, it's going to delete my moves. It's fine. Save. I didn't want to save it like that, but here we are. Oops. I just deleted the moves. That's very sad. I'm gonna have to remember what I had. Um. All right, I have that team in game. Here we go. Import. Now I have to change it. Light clay. Oh, also shiny. Definitely important. So let's put those in. Beer break. Um. Scary face. Um. Light screen. Reflect. All right. Got those. I don't remember exactly what the spread does, but yeah, it just needs to live hits. So it's not going to live as hit ever. So there's that. Next, we just need instant, and then we're pretty much good to go, and we get to test our concept. Of course, we still don't have a fourth move on this, but we can always change it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what we don't hit. Something like a Feeny, but we have like Reggie Lucky, so I don't know. Uh, but let's get in. Let's just steal an instant really quickly. Um, oops, this one's not existing. We can use this citrus one. I like this one a lot, I think. Just standard. Um, Snineson's this thing that its spread will kind of change more so as the format goes on, but for now I just stole one of the basic Ensign spreads um, that I've used before, so yeah, nothing too special. Now, let's think. For now, I'm going to go ahead and put Protect on my Dialga, because I don't really know what fourth move, but there's so many things. I could put Flamethrower on it, I could put I could low-key put a fire move, I could put uh, another dragon move um, to make it hit. Um, I've, I could put something, god, it learns over you do. It gets a lot of moves. There's a lot of things I could put, but I'm going to put protect for now and see if something's like really annoying. But yeah, um, this is good. The only thing I need to do is change to a team I haven't... A, uh, a, I'm going to use a um, account that I haven't used. Let's see if I can put man be test on real quick. Alright. Alright, I switched to Man B Test. So now let's go. I wanted to do a new channel because the other one was like in the top 500. Actually, I don't know if it still is, but anyway, here we go. New team, let's go. So now the team building process isn't over. What we're doing now is testing to see if the team works. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is playing games, and if I'm like, no, this is bad, I'm going to change some things. However, yeah, we'll see. So I notice Umbreon right off the rip, which is really bad because it can go for Yawn and Snarl, so that's really bad for like Calyrex and stuff. Um, they're restricted Zarization and Yveltal, so I feel like Calyrex is actually the Dynamax of choice here. Um, yeah, there's a couple things I need to be careful for. I actually feel like Dialga lead is low-key good just to kill something like a Grimmsnarl. Um, but if they don't lead Grimmsnarl, then I'm fine. However, yeah, there's a lot of things going for me here. Um, no. I kind of want to go Dialga. Like, Dialga Mimikyu. Just click Trick Room. Um, have Calyrex as well, and I think Incense kind of a must here. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, start the timer. The timer should have already been started, but you know how it is. So yeah, if I see things that I don't like, again, we're, we're really looking for this Dialga, this last Dialga move. We're going to see if we even need Seed Bomb on the Calyrex, stuff like that. See, I figured they would lead something stupidly passive for absolutely no reason. So we are Life Orb, Flash Cannon, so that's really cool. We can just click it, I think. Um, the problem we're going to have is this Umbreon. I'm just going to smack it with a Play Rough just to get some damage on it. I can Trick Room whenever I want. Um, we're gonna have to fight uh, Snarls and Yawns, so we have to be very careful. Um, but there's no point to Dynamax here, just because there might be a Yawn or a Snarl. Um, so yeah, just gotta keep that in mind. Um, we'll see what our opponent decides to go for, but this is the most ultra-passive lead. Also, Showdown sucks, and here we are with an extremely laggy game. And there's the Yawn! See, they, you just assume they're not gonna do anything that takes any amount of skill. And yeah, so now, that's good. So let's go for... Um, I could go for Calyrex Trick Room here. We'll see. Because I think uh, Shadow Sneak Glacial Lance will kill everything. 
So this is the perfect time to get it in. Yeah, so you know they're going passive and you can go aggressive. So now my Mimikyu is, is doing all it needs to do. Um, we'll see what they go for here. Umbreon's still kind of a problem in a way, but we'll, we'll figure this out. Um, we'll see what they go for here. I'm sorry that this Pokemon showed on legs. This is why I don't like doing videos on it, but yeah, we'll see. It goes for another Yawn. That's a good play. Um, goes for Spirit Break this time. Um, yeah. So if I Glacial Lance, I'll lose both my Pokemon. I don't need to like really risk anything, personally. Um, I can just keep schmoovin'. So this time I'm going to go to Ensign in case they do the same thing. I'm going to keep putting on the pressure on Umbreon here because if it keeps spamming, spamming on and I keep hitting Play Rough, then it's not going to live for too much longer. Of course, they're doing a good job wasting my Trick Room turns um, with these Yawn spams, so good for them. Um, not too many ways around Yawn. Um, yeah, unless I have a Lumberry, which I don't. But yep, yeah, they're playing passive. I've already done a whole lot of damage to them on turn one. We'll just keep keep switching and keep getting damage. We'll be alright. Okay, now Grimmsnarl is Intimidated, which is actually really good for us. They go for Mamoswine, wowza. Um, we lag, but they go for Reflect, so that's fine. Um, I think... I don't have to necessarily Parting Shot, I think we just attack. I think we just Blitz them. Um, it's super effective, and yeah, if they Max Quake, that's fine, because then I can just go into Dialga or something of that nature and Dynamax, um, which is good. And it, the funny thing is, both my Pokemon are really good in Dynamax um, here. I can either Dynamax, Calyrex, or Dialga, so it kind of works that way. So there comes a Flare Blitz. You get it all but 2%, so that's unfortunate a little bit. Goes for high horsepower, we are going to die, and the lag is just really annoying. Um, Play Rough does a lot of damage though, however, it's now time to set up Calyrex, which is awesome. I don't need to Dynamax here. I don't need to Dynamax here. I can save Dialga Dynamax for the Zacian, which is definitely going to be an issue now that I have lost that. So let's go for a Shadow Sneak on myself and a Glacial Lance. Um, yeah, something's probably going to die because I doubt Umbreon has Protect. And it looks like both of them are going to die, so I'm about to be plus four, um, which is hilarious. So boop, there we are, plus four. Alright, so we know Grimmsnarl is going to come out, and it probably has nothing to deal with us. It just has Light Screen, Reflect, and Spirit Break. And um, that is Zacian. Alright. So I think what I do... So, something cool that you can do here, <laughs> it's really risky, is Trick Room Trick Room. Um, I think I'm going to go for it just to stunt on this guy. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. They didn't protect anything last turn, though, but let's see how this goes. Um, if they don't, they don't. I think I can still win either way, so it's not the end of the world to me. Um, yes, they do have Zacian and Screens, however, I think I can deal with it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, they actually go for Thunder Wave. Wow. Oh, they actually Behemoth played that one. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, um, I think what we're gonna do... I, mean, I can try to Trick Room again. But I'm actually just gonna max Steel Spike over onto the Grimmsnarl to get a boost, and then, yeah, we'll try to be beat the Zacian with the the light screen's running, gonna run out soon, so that's good. I have a Dynamax. I think they still have a Dynamax, don't they? They do, but they can't Dynamax Station, which is hilarious. But this is fine. I don't want to get Thunder Waved again, but it's probably gonna spam Thunder Wave, because that's what they do. Oh, I tried to go for Light Screen. That's a epic fail. Alright, so now it's my Dynamax versus theirs. Um, I'm plus one, which is great. Max Quake. I think two Max Quakes will end it for us. Um, they do have a screen this turn, but not next turn. Which is nice, but I think we should still win here. Um, I could Steel Spike Quake too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try Steel Spike Quake because I think it'll be fine. Actually, I don't know. I think we Quake Quake because they can only protect one of them. Sacred Sword, 43%. <sighs> I don't live another one, and they live at 82. I can't believe I lost this. That's <sighs> should have Steel. Sp nope, Steel Spike didn't work because of Sacred Sword. Maybe Max Guard was the play there, but then they just protect. Yeah, that's really sad. That's really sad to lose that one. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have lost. <laughs> um, so that is how it is. Yeah, it's because they are were really bad and actually hit the attack button, so I should have just assumed that I'm playing against a 1,000 level player and they don't know what Protect actually does. So that's my bad. But, you know, if I'm playing a good player, I win that game with the Trick Room Trick Room. And it's not like that's a bad play ever. I'm plus four. If you're actually litting my, my Calyrex attack, then you have problems. So... Yeah. Anyway, on to the next. So they have Torn Ogre. They have a very fast team. So if I just go these two, which is what I like to do against um, Torn Ogre, then it's really, really strong. Calyrex, obviously really good. And yeah, now we can go decide between Instant or Dialga. And I actually think Instant's a little bit better against Zacian than Dialga will be. Um, so I'm going to do that. However, Dialga's not a bad green, I don't think. Um, but we'll see what they decide to do. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, this is at least the timers, right? All right, so they go Rillaboom into Ogre. So they can either grab, yeah, so I give them a choice, basically. You either try to double my Mimikyu and you lose your Ogre. Um, yeah, basically, I get Trick Room here. So they go for Fake Out. So this is this is hilarious. Oh, wait, what what they do? Ice Beam? Who they Ice Beam? The Ice Beam is Mimikyu. Okay. This is fine. Um, I'm just going to Volt Switch and Protect. This way I can't lose Mimikyu. I am going to lose Kyogre, but that's fine. Yeah, because now I just do this. And I'm going to max Grass here. I do have the boost, which is hilarious. Rillaboom can't do anything. He says lull protect on Mimikyu. It's about to win me the game. <sighs> Got me into the Ghost Tower final. So it can't be bad. Alright. So they protect Rillaboom. Now they're about to be really mad that I get this boost. Let's see if this kills. Boom! Now I'm going to take early GG because they lost. BO1 is fine. A, BO3, tour. But sure. Open sheets as well. So... Just let them know. Just let them know. They have no chance. Alright, they go into Zation. Um, I think we can just quake. Like, what is... What does uh, Rillaboom ever do in a million years? Nothing. Okay, go into Insin. They can protect if they want. If they don't protect, they go into Urshifu. Grassy Glide for zero damage. Urshifu just falls <laughs> falls dead. How many turns of Trick Room? One turn of Trick Room. Okay, um... It's fine, fine, fine. I have a fake out here. So that's good. Let's see, how do we want to do this? I think we'll max Hailstorm at plus three. And fake out the Zation. Yeah, well. <laughs> Down it goes. So now we've got this in the hail, which is hilarious. Um, but we'll just go for high horsepower, I guess. And I'm going to parting shot to flex. That's fine. As I parting shot, still goes through. I actually get Mimikyu in. Now I high horsepower. The funny thing here is I can go for Trick Room and Trick Room. You can only kill one of them. Actually, you could kill neither of them. And there's the forfeit. You don't want to stay? You don't want to stay? Alright. They know they lost. It's fine. Alright. Here we go. Ooh, what is this? This is this is a low this is a true low ladder game. Alright, so they got some scary Pokemon. I have no idea what they're gonna do, honestly. Um <laughs> I think Reggie Lucky is quite good here. Whom do I want to pair it with? I think Dialga is actually a pretty good pairing as well, but I should probably just be boring and do these two with Reggie Lucky and Limbag. So let's try it. Let's try our second lead. Um, and then Ensign, for sure. Alright, so they went with this. Um, this is totally fine. I think we just max Steel Spike over onto the Togekiss. We, I think we can ignore Toxtricity. It's probably going to D-Max and do some BS, but as long as I am... Um, yeah. As long as I set up screens, I don't really care if I'm paralyzed. Um, hopefully I get poisoned. Okay, they follow me. Light Screen comes out. Steel Spike comes out. We get a free kill, so that's great. I can always max Quake this thing, too. We're about to find out if it's faster. Oh yeah, don't get paralyzed. I didn't get paralyzed, nice. So I can just quake it and get the free kill. So there's that. So let's quake here. I don't really have to worry about Bouflant, mainly because what is it supposed to do? And we'll just get up a reflect, get get up them screens. Yeah, so this one's kind of over. Yeah, we need to we need to we need to play higher level people, but it's fine. So that's that. What is Bouflant gonna do? Cotton Guard. Ooh, 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 I like it. All right, so we got those. Now we're gonna flex on them and show off the scary face. Um, yeah, we really don't have to worry about this buffalo. So there's the scary face. Max Quake, and we count it, so that's a kill. And now it's just a buffalo. Hit him with. The, I'm gonna flex on him with the roar of time. Um, yeah, roar of time. Yeet! Eee! Crit. <laughs> All right, on to the next. So yeah, the team. I don't know. The team seems like it's working pretty well. So this is an interesting team. Ooh, Juan VGC. I feel like I've played it. I think Juan's a guy who likes to use rain, but it might be. It might not be the same guy. Um, Toga tomorrow is very interesting here. Also, Articuno. However, I think Calyrex Ice is going to be our way of life here. Now we have to decide what's the best way to get our friend into the action, and I think we're just going to have to be boring. I don't know. Is Instant the right one? I think we'll go Instant Mimikyu. We'll try it. Calyrex, and then. 
I can either go Dialga, Regilecki, or Grimmsnarl. I think Dialga's actually not bad. However, if I'm not Dynamaxing it, honestly, it's like, we'll see. We'll see how Dialga can do as a non-Dynamax. I, I have Roar of Time, I have Flash Cannon, and I have Earth Power. Could be very, very valu valuable, um, depending on what they have. But I could also bring it as a max option, too, depending on what my opponent does go for. But yeah, not bringing a Reggie Lucky could be interesting, but we'll see how that goes. Um, the very interesting thing to me is the Burb, or the Kanukalar, but I'm not sure they're going to bring it. Actually, I really hope they don't bring it. Oh, thank god. Um, okay. They're not Intimidate. Oops. So I can't actually tell who's faster because they didn't bring Intimidate, <laughs> which is funny. Um, but this could be very bad for us. However, I think if I lose Incineroar, it's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to go for a Parting Shot. I'm going to do it on the instant, I guess, and Trick Room. Yeah, I think we're fine here. Like, if they just kill my instant, that's fine, right? Um, yeah, so they go for Fake Out. I I'm, I'm going to lose instant, but is it the end of the world? No, because I get this. And now I just click Max Quake here and Shadow Sneak. And I don't really care for um, the Kyogre at the moment, because if I get a Max Quake, I'm going to be even more boosted, and I can Max Grass it whenever I need to. The only problem here is what this instant decides to do, because people like to play their instant. Basically, this is the, the hard part about playing Calyrex. I could just go for the Grass move here, but a Protect and Parting Shot would be way worse for me. So I'm just going to go for what I go for. And that's an attack into the instant. Of course, they might not even have the Articuno Galar, and they have another... Dialga's weak to ground, so that's great. Togemaru also weak to ground. Rillaboom can take it, so that would be very troublesome, but if it Rillabooms in, I'm not really afraid. So it looks like they don't max or anything, which means Instant's just gonna drop dead. So that's awesome, now we're plus three. Um, yeah, they go for Origin Pulse again. They actually miss, it only does 21%, so that's dead. Now if Dialga comes in, yeah, we have to go for Max Quake on it, just because it is a whole lot stronger than um, it's a whole lot stronger than uh, Kyogre against my Calyrex. I'm actually going to hard switch into Dialga here, mainly because I want to get Dialga some boosts, um, which I think could be very advantageous for us. Yeah, I'm not really worried about the Kyogre at the moment. I could be worried about it later on, so we'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be scared. But I'm 2.5. I want to hit Max Quake on this, on this Dialga here, for sure. Let's see what happens. They just let me Quake it. All right, so it goes down. So no, nothing to be afraid of at the moment. And now we're just keep getting the spadef boosts, and let's see how much Origin Pulse does to our Dialga. Crits me, so very sad, but yeah. Um, this is tough. I think I want to go for Max Grass here. And yeah, I'm going to switch back into the Mimikyu here. Okay, they actually Dynamax the Rillaboom Max Guard. No Max Guard. All right, I don't know what they're doing. Did they see that I have a Calyrex? Anyway, they go for Max Drum Solo. Does, does a lot. Alright, now do I make the mistake and click, um, do I make the mistake and, I'm just gonna attack, I'm not gonna do the same thing I did last time. They they could have max guard though, depending on their item, nope, they don't, goodbye. Alright, well, that's dead. I don't know, I feel like the team is doing pretty well. Um, when I need the trick room mode, I need it. I would like to get a few more games with the Dialga mode. See, when they have just try hard tailwind like this, you just go mimic you and laugh, in my opinion. Yeah, I just feel like that's why Calyrex is so strong in the early meta. And yeah, now I think we go Regilecki in the back. But we could also go Dialga. Dialga's not bad, but yeah, let's go Regilecki. Okay, let's see what they got. Tacha Perina. The only game I lost was... Um, the only game I lost... <sighs> okay, I have Grass Seed, so I don't have to worry about this. I think we always fake out... The whimsy got here just because it might have reverse trick room, which is the stupidest thing ever. But yeah, it's fine. Problem could be here if the um, yeah, depending on what this Gastrodon does. However, I do have Grassy Seed at, at Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb Calyrex has been really good in my opinion. Um, we've just been smoking everything with it. Like we've killed so many Kyogres, which our people are using. Now we get to hit this Gastro Ding Dong, which is great. Let's see what our opponent does. I don't think Whimsicon Gastron is the most prominent lead anyone's ever led against me, but you know how it be. Um, so Fake Out comes, Let's see if it's a jack button, nope. Goes for a Muddy Wauda and misses. Is it gonna get the accuracy? It does, it's 100% chance, did you know that? Um, Trick Room comes out, now I'm just gonna Flare Blitz Whimsicott just in case it tries to reverse Trick Room. Um, I kinda low-key just wanna hard switch in Calyrex here, mainly because I wanna get it in, 
Um, and of course, Ensign can parting shot too if it needs to, but again, the Whimsicott is the biggest problem to me right now. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see how this goes. Muddy Water should go first. Actually goes for a taunt. Um, hello. Okay, and again, another freaking accuracy drop. However, it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> because I can Dynamax and just murder it. So we'll see what comes in. Um, actually goes into Yveltal. See, Sucker Punch is a problem. However, Dynamax Max Ice seems like just a, a big fat problem for you, you know what I'm saying? So let's parting shot into the Gastro and just Max Hailstorm the Yveltal. It could sucker, but I don't, I'm not really worried about it. Okay, it just lets me Hailstorm it and kill it, and I'm also slower than the Gastrodon, so that's hilarious. That's dead. He goes from another Muddy Water. Don't get another Accuracy Drop. Okay, it almost went 3 for 3. Um, now we go into Mimikyu because <laughs> we can Shadow Sneak ourselves without the Accuracy problem. Now this Gastrodon's minus 1, so it's really going to have a hard time. Um, I'm going to Shadow Sneak myself and go for another Max Hailstorm into the Palkia. Um, just to kill it. Gastron's not really a problem for me anymore. I'm, yeah, I'm big and scary. So there's Shadow Sneak. I get my weakness policy. I'm now plus three. Max Ice. Goodbye. I actually get a crit. I wish I didn't. I would like to see how much I did without it. Um, there's the four of it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure plus three. Calyrex Ice is gonna kill. Kill the bestest of Palkias, but the team's working. I think this combination's good. I mean, I haven't gotten... I haven't been able to use a whole lot of Dialga yet. However, we're doing work. Um, so now Reggie Leggy could be a problem. Could be a problem for us. Um, but it's really not a big problem for Dialga, you know? I kind of want to try Dialga here, but look at these. These things are just going to click Snarl, 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 Snarl. And that's what I'm worried about. So I think I kind of want to lead something like Reggie Lucky and Mimikyu and see how that goes. Um, with Calyrex in the back. And I think Dialga's fine in the back too. I don't think we need Ensign. Um, yeah, so they just go with these. That's fine. I think I just throw out the Thunderbolt there and click Trick Room. Yeah, I think this is fine. And we'll see what they go for. Um, yeah, they could max the Kyogre. I'm also a Magnet, so I'm not Life Orb. If they max it, then they could definitely kill the Mimikyu with a double up here. With like a Sludge Bomb plus uh, Max Geyser. But then your Dynamax loses half its health. They actually hard swap into Entei, which takes 70%. Meteor Beam! So this Pokemon can't Dynamax, so I don't care. Not only that, but they just won me the game. So now I just click. I don't even have the Dynamax. They just uh, gave me Trick Room plus a free switch. And that's why that lead is so good. Sure, you want to go for my Magnet Reggie Lucky that does so much damage, but yeah. Good luck. Because now they can Dynamax Entei. That would be pretty cool, but it's in the rain, so I'm not going to be that afraid of it. Um, I can just click Glacial Lance. There we go. And get my plus two. And Kaboonga. Goodbye, my friends, and now I'm plus four. I've gotten to plus four, like, every single time I've used this thing. <laughs> so they go into Conkle Donkle. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and max Grass and take care of that. And we'll play rough the Conk because it's super effective. Um, they actually Dynamax the Conk. Pretty interesting, if I do say so myself. Um, they go for max Knuckle, which is going to do approximately 14% damage. Basically zero. Max Grass comes out. I could probably kill it with max Quake, but I thought it was going to Dynamax. Um, so yeah, now we'll just Hailstorm. Play rough and call it a day. Go for Max Quake. That actually did 38. That was a lot stronger. That was like, surprisingly stronger. Anyway, there's another, another one. Another one bites the dust. I don't know. We're kind of moving. We're kind of moving. I don't think there's anything I want to change at the moment. Um, Dialga, I don't know. I haven't used it quite as much. Mainly because everyone's just trying really hard to tailwind. See, now this could be a scenario where Power, Power Gem could be really good. Think about this. Power Gem against this might be really strong here because I don't really have a whole lot to hit it. But we'll see. Anyway. Let's try Dialga here. See, and now you can even... Uh, we'll see. Okay, we'll go Dialga, Grimmsnarl, um, Incin. Question is, I think I want Reggie Lucky over um, Calyrex Ice, in my personal opinion. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, this is this is time for Dialga to shine. But you could definitely... I don't know, but Roar of Time will do so much damage to... Honestly, it probably does more. Nah, super effective Power Gem will be base 260 versus Roar of Time. Base 150 plus 1.5, 200. Yeah. Anyway, I actually really like this. So I think I'm going to go with Earth Max Quake. It's kind of scary for a lot of reasons. It's kind of scary for a lot of reasons, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, now I really... I'm just going to go into my instant, I think, here. Because I don't want to keep my Grimmsnarl out against a Steel-type, personally. Um, but I'm going to go for Quake, because if I kill Ensign, then it's dead. You know? Um, yeah, we're hoping Dialga... If Dialga can one-shot Zacian, it can one-shot Ensign. But we'll see. Station do be kind of strong. 
Um, the Karazin is definitely scary, but Incin will definitely affect it more than it, their Incin's affecting mine. But we'll see, they're taking a think. Now, they do have Rayquaza, which could be really bad for my switching. Um, but yeah, I think I'd just go for Max Quake anyway. It's very risky, they could just outplay me here, and there's not a whole lot I could do about it, but it's okay. Um, Dynamax, that's good, they didn't switch. They Dynamax as well. Um, they Fake Out, nice, and Quake. So, oh my god, they live that, ridiculous. Um, they go for Steel Spike. Alright, so that play ends up working way better for us. So now I can go for a Max Dragon here. I could go for a Steel Spike. Nah, we'll go for Dragon. Um, yeah, I think Parting Shot's fine. Into Necrozma, because they might want to Quake. I can go back into into my Grimmsnarl. So they actually go into Tabu Fini. Good switch. That's why, probably why I should have Steel Spiked, but good job. Anyway, I Parting Shot. Basically, we're just dancing around each other's Dynamaxes, which is hilarious. Um, we'll go into Grimmsnarl this time. I don't think they're going to Steel Spike it. Yeah, and they quake it. <laughs> All right, uh, now I'll steel spike. So steel spike is nice. Um, see, this is the problem now. This thing has a boost. This thing's an issue. This is why I wanted. I need something to hit. However, I do have a Pokemon that can hit it. I can get up screens. I can do whatever. Um, yeah, I think I want to reflect here. I'm gonna try it. Okay, reflect is up. We do a nice chunk of damage. Nice chunk of change. We go for Calm Mind, that's the only thing they ever click. It does go for another Max Quake, it does zero. Okay. <sighs> we do have to worry about this Necroz me. And Trick Room and all sorts of annoying stuff. Let's go for a Flash Cannon yet again. I kind of want a Spirit Break over here. I don't know if it's going to be the best play. We'll go instant, I guess. Yeah, we'll go instant. Get the Fake Out Pressure, especially if Necrozma wants to set up Trick Room. Yeah, this is tough because we both just did a whole lot of nothing to each other. Honestly, you know what? It's not gonna kill me. Flash Cannon, Spear Break. What you got? If I get the Spear Break off, that would be great. I actually go into Rayquaza. I actually, that's really good for us. Flash Cannon comes out, does a lot. Has a berry of 90%. Goes for Moonblast, I'm not gonna live that. Yeah, quite unfortunate. Um, But I can bring in this. So the cool thing about this is I can actually go for the Rayquaza here with a Roar of Time and an Electro Web to make sure I'm faster than Quay. Um, we should be faster depending on how much speed they went with. Um, yeah, Feeny is going to be quite afraid, even though it is plus three. Um, yeah, should want to protect. We'll see. It doesn't protect, but that's fine, in my opinion, because we just did a billion damage to Rayquaza. We Roar of Time it. I missed, so that's going to cost us the game, probably no matter what. Actually, Draco Meter does zero. Let's see how much. Let's see what the Feeny does. Feeny goes for Moonblast. We do live. However, Extreme Speed is a, a move in the game, so we got to keep that in mind. Um, so to win this game, I really need to keep my Regilecki alive, so what I'm going to do... I don't know, this thing probably dies to a Flash Cannon, it's so bad. I'm going to click Protect, because they're going to click Extreme Speed. Oh, they click Protect, nice. Uh, what do they go for? Muddy Water? Mm. Why do you have to do that? Alright. Let's try this again. See, I don't know if they have Extreme Speed. Alright. <laughs> I'm scared, alright. I swear to God. <laughs> if they Extreme Speed me, you know what, it's fine. They extreme speed me, they extreme speed me. Nice. Let's see. Do they know what Thunderbolt does? I wonder. Alright, there's Flash Cannon, we get the we get the double. So now they just have a Necrozma and a Rayquaza. So that's fantastic. And now we can go Incin. And I'm gonna probably Volt Switch the Necrozma. I'm just gonna keep Flash Cannoning there. Yeah, Volt Switch the Necrozma. Um yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Incin's gonna have to really help us here. A lot, but we'll see. If we can get this Rayquaza out this turn, that would be fantastic. And a light screen would have been nice. They do protect, I figured that was coming. So the Volt Switch is just free chip, which is great. Or minus one. Oh, I didn't even notice we got the minus one. There's that. Okay, Flash Cannon comes out. Oh, they Quake! Does approximately zero damage. I think what I do now is Flash Cannon and fake out the, the Rayquaza. And Instant still has its Citrus Berry, we still have two turns of Reflect. Rayquaza is a bigger threat because it's a special attacker. There's the Fake Out. Uh, Flash Cannon should go next. Okay, yeet! Goodbye. We're going to take a lot of chip from the Live Orb. Does go for another Earthquake. However, now I get two. I get, I get first of all, a Blast of a Thunderbolt and a Flare Blitz as well, which should be enough to pick it up. Um, yeah, I believe this will be enough. As bulky as Necrozma is, this is a Reggie Lucky and an Incineroar. 
And this should be game. Yep, Thunderbolt, 49%. Paralyzed, Flare Blitz, goodbye. And that's it. That's all she wrote. All right, still still doing well on time. I don't know, we're not losing. We're just grinding through this ladder. Um, ooh, nice. Okay, so this is very similar to my team, except they have this poor Urshifu instead of um, Tornadus, which I think is really, really good. Um, however, this team is quite hard to deal with. However, I've got a Dialga. I think this is Dialga's grand time to shine. Um, so let's do it. Let's go with the blood. Let's go. I think Dialga. Dialga Grimmsnarl. Oh. Hmm. We'll go Red Lucky in the back, and I think Insin in the back. I don't think I want Calyrex Ice here. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, they actually go with Insin and Reggie Lucky. Interesting. Interessante. Okay, I'm gonna try Max Quake again. If it doesn't kill, then we know it doesn't kill. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's try it. Um, I think we're okay to just go for it. Just fire off a Spirit Break here. I don't see why not over on the Reggie side. Honestly, what if we Quake and Spirit Break the Instant? Just see what happens. Let's see. They go for Electro Web. I think the only thing that these players actually know how to click is Electro Web. Spirit Break goes first, which means they're probably gonna Parting Shot me first. Yeah, I, I don't know. It ends up being a bad play for me because they go for a bad play. You know how it works. But, yeah, this is fine. Um, I'm just gonna Quake over on this side and Spirit Break over on the Urshifu. I, I mean, you can CC me if you want. Like, is it gonna be the end of the world? No. You're gonna lose two Pokemon for it and the Insin isn't the bulkiest of fellers. And then you only have one Restricted because you decided to bring Urshifu over a Restricted Pokemon. So that's the problem with Urshifu. They actually Volt Switch. I mean, if it's Insin, you're still taking a Max Quake. Cool. Okay, let's see what Ursh goes for. He does go for CC. We do take it, only barely. Um, Spirit Break comes out. Max Quake comes out. Lots of damage there. That's minus one, so that would have done a, lot, a whole lot. So, I mean, they lost a whole lot for that, and they still only have one restricted. Doesn't mean I'm going to win this, but we'll see. So they're going to want to try to kill my Dialga, I think. But we'll see. If we can Max Quake it, we can Max Quake it. If we can Spirit Break it, we can Spirit Break it. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm plus two speed F, so it's not like a Thunderbolt's just gonna run through me. You pick out that side, interesting. They go for... <sighs> it's just bad plays, it's just bad plays, because you only know how to click Electroweb. That's the only button you've ever clicked, and you just don't use your brain cells. You're like, oh, speed control, I just win the game. I, they all go slow as nuts, who cares? Who cares? Alright, so they have this. <laughs> um, so I e obviously switch out Dialga here, I'm gonna go Insin. Um, I would like to go with Reflect, I think. Yeah, make this a little bit easier for me. Okay, Reflect. They're going for Trick Room. They go for a Throat Chop, which does approximately zero. Oh, they went for Glacial Lance, but I live it! That's great! That's great! Uh, okay. I don't want to just die and give him the boost, but it's okay, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. Do I want a Light Screen? I really don't. Do I? Scary face doesn't do anything. I just will just throw off a spirit break if we can. I think mean, this is fine, right? Parting shot my Ensign, which doesn't do anything. I parting shot their Calyrex. Um, I don't want to get quaked, honestly. Who's gonna be the best? I think we have to. We have to do this. Oh, thank God they quaked that one. Okay. Um, we go Ensign. We go Ensign. I think we Thunderbolt the Ensign. See if we can get it. I think we can. Um. We'll just keep parking shot over on the Calyrex. Wasted Smax turns, I think. Yeah. I think this is the right thing to do. So there, down goes Ensign. Parting shot comes out. We still have Reflect, which is great. Dialga's obviously gonna die still. Which is fine. To Quake that one, look, <laughs> look how little we take. Alright, now the question is, what do we do here? I can play some Harry Houdini here. I'm gonna Volt Switch. And... Roar of Time. Volt Twitch comes out, does zero. It's fine, Insin comes in, Sin. Roar of Time's gonna kill myself. 17% though. Max Quake comes out, does damage. I think that's the last turn of Dynamax though, right? Yeah, so I get a Fake Out, plus Zap. So, free Fake Out, and Thunderbolt. And next turn I go for Flare Blitz, Thunderbolt, and that should be game. There's the Fake Out. This won't do as much, because they're plus 50. I get the Paralyze though, which is hilarious, but not really needed, and there's the there's the Vorbit. Alright, so we're 49 minutes in. I'll play more, but let's 
take a look at the rank. So I'm 6-1, I think I'm 7-1 because it usually doesn't upload that quick. So we're flying through. And the one loss I think was BS, I think I should have won that game. It was very winnable to say the least. Yeah, I think Dialga's done its, done its job. It's done its job. So that was a game where I didn't even bring Calyrex Ice. See, this looks like another job. No, I don't know. I think I just go Mimikyu and win. When you see Calyrex Ice, Mimikyu. Um, let's see, who would, who would I want to pair it with though? I think Instant, yeah. Instant, Mimikyu, Calyrex, Ice. Um, I can go Reggie Lucky and I can go Dialga. I think Dialga, you just kind of want that bulk. That bulk that um, is provided by being a restricted Pokemon and having base 150 everything. Especially against Calyrex. Like, I can live in Astro Barrage. I think I might be able to live two. Um, maybe not, depending on the item and stuff, but we'll see. Um, yeah. I think this is fine. I think this is fine and dandy. So they go Incin and Calyrex Shadow. Very interesting. Very interesting. So I think what I can do... Yeah, Calyrex is going first. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they do anything here. I think I'm just gonna Parting Shot the Lando and Trick Room. Yeah, and then I don't... They have no way to stop the Trick Room here. Parting Shot's really nice. Yeah, Parting Shot's really nice. They can max. Ghost? Nope, they just switch into Indeedee. It's exactly why you don't click Big Cat. However, it still would have worked over on the Lando. They probably didn't know that because they went for Rock Slide anyway, so they're going for Luck. How does Luck work? We're about to find out. Even if it doesn't work, I just click Astro Barrage. I actually hope I get flinched. Yep, that's fine. I just click Glacial Lands and Trick Room again. Now you can brainlessly click Rock Slide and give me plus four if you want, but yeah. We'll see. We'll see what they go for. And then they have to get another Rock Slide flinch. To make sure Mimikyu doesn't get Trick Room up. But either way, I think we're fine. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. See what they go for here. We'll see what they go for because my Lando is minus two and it does no damage, but it gives me weakness palsy. But will they go for luck? You know how these players go. They click Rock Slide, they win a game, and they think that's a good strategy just to spam it. Oh, uh, they go into Rush Around, so that's GG. That's game over. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to tell you. Okay, we just click it again. They could click follow me. Which would be the worst case scenario, but I think sh no. Yeah, that could be the worst case scenario. Yeah, this might be the worst case scenario if it doesn't kill. It lives at five. I mean, you know what? It's not the end of the world, is it? Max player. You die, but they die. And now I just go Dialga and win. Yeah. Just go Dialga and kill the Lando. Um. Yeah, this is fine. Do we Steel Spike it? No, we Warp Time it. We Warp Time its family. The only thing is Mimic is kind of useless here, and I kind of want to keep it in, sadly. We'll just play rough the Calyrex. Keep it honest. Max Dragon, one shots it. Yeah, you lose, buddy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Play rough. Breaks potential sash. Let's see what item it is. Does 23 damage to Calyrex. And not life orb. Yep. Yeah. Yep, could have told you that one. Alright, so now they have to double protect, and then even then, they're still not killing Ensign. So there's protect number one. Okay. Still have another Dynamax turn. I should be quaking, I think. Because even if they protect, then I get a quick boost. Yeah, they actually got it. Good try though. So there's Quake, so now I'm plus one in Sin, and yeah, I don't think either of my Pokemon are dying here. But we'll try, we'll see what they go for. Another Astro Barrage. 46% against the Dialga. So that's what I'm talking about. I don't know, Dialga's been show working. Show working. Oh my god, my headphones. I'm so sorry if that was really loud. I'm so sorry. Alright, this is the last one. Alright, so they're Torn Ogre, which means I just go this, and this, and this. And I don't need Incin here. So I like Incin as my fourth, but Zation is the last. However, we can see this Doge here. Darkest Slayer, it might be better than Third Chop in this format. I gotta keep that in mind, but let's go Dialga. All right, hopefully we can win. We'll see what our opponent decides to go for. Uh, I do not, Solgaleo, I think a very strong Pokemon. However, if I can get a plus two max Quake on that thing, then that's great. But we'll see. Let's see. Torn. Hirsch. 
So I'm not sure what they're supposed to do here. I'm not sure what they're supposed to do. I click Thunderbolt, that's what I'm clicking. Trick room. Because if they attack, they're just taking a Thunderbolt. If there's... yeah. Plus, I don't know. I don't know. I could also Shadow Sneak, but yeah, they go for Taunt, so the game's over. Enjoy the loss. Uh, they have Wakan Berry, but it still dies to Magnet. That's hilarious. They Wicked Blow me, but I don't die, so that's a slight inconvenience, because I would love to have my Restricted Pokemon in right now. Um, yeah, but I don't. But that's okay. We can get it in next turn. Um, and if they don't, yeah, they, they have this one. Alright, um, this is easy. Is it easy, though? Do just Thunderbolt, I think? And protect. Can't protect against one of them, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my thing. Yep. Alright, um, yeah. I mean, this is a little bit annoying. I could go Dialga, to be quite honest. I'm only thinking Dialga because it does better against the Ursh. And the Urshifu is the problem. Honestly, I could just Quake the Urshifu. Call it a day. So let's go Quake into Playrough? Now we'll Shadow Sneak it. So that should be enough, right? Uh, we'll Quake into Playrough, I think. Okay, Quake comes out. Does a lot. We need Playrough. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't sneak. We do connect, so that's great. Yeah, so that's fine. We go for Origin Pulse. Dodge. God, we've been dodging all the Origin Pulses. Alright, so now we can Shadow Sneak ourselves and kill this um, Kyogre, I think. How many turns of Trick Room? Two. Let's, let's just kill it. Um, yeah, this might be a problem though, depending on how much damage they do to us. We'll see. Mac Dress. Goodbye. Let's see what they go for. Max Steel Spike. Ouch! Does a whole lot. Yeah, now I'm, I'm afraid for many reasons. Now the question is, do I just stack them? I'm plus three. I think we quake them anyway. They might max guard here though, which is bad. <sighs> I guess I play rough. They let me quake them. I mean, that's that's all the damage I think I need. They're gonna get weakness policy though, which is bad. But we'll see. E four percent. We go for steel spike again. So there's no more trick room. Alright, this is very scary. I think I'm going to go Earth Power and Trick Room. I would like to protect in Trick Room, but I don't want them to read me. <sighs> See, this is a, this is a hard W to be. They have Max Steel Spike. I don't know, I'm just going to go Earth Power and hope for the best. Actually, maybe I protect in Trick Room. If they Steel Spike the other spot, I just have to live one, one hit. Yeah, yeah, that won me the game. Good job. Good job, Brain! Because now I'm slower. I click Earth Power, which is now non-Dynamax, and play rough. Oh my god, we're doing this. They do have Spit F though, we'll see. See if Dog can take it. Wait a second, isn't Shadow Sneak super hard? Yeah, it's way stronger. 12%, good job Mimikyu! Gah! Ah! Exclamation point on the video, we won! Every single game. Look, we already got the 244. <laughs> I wonder how far that is on the ladder. Uh, BGC 22. I don't know, guys. I think it worked. I think it worked. Oh my god. 1700 already. I know this person. Alright. 1300. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't even that far away from top 500 in, in one hour session. So, I don't know. I think the team worked really well. I think, yeah, if you guys want to pace it, I can leave it. Um, you can definitely decide what you want, but that Protect just won me the game. So I feel like Protect was all you need, in my opinion. I don't know, this team ended up being really good for for how for how quickly I just threw it together. But yeah, maybe I'll make it in-game and use it too. Just let me know if you guys want to see that. Anyway, thank you guys for following, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. And yeah, we'll be back with more videos.